second pour with Old Pepper's Distillery. Right after this. Welcome to Second Pour. I'm Zane. And I'm Jeff. And I'm super excited. I don't know what this is, but it's stupid. <laughs> we are having today Old Pepper Distillery Single Barrel. Rye Because this is rye month, so this is our second rye of the month. Yeah. We have had some of this, maybe a little bit more than some. Yeah, I mean, I'm already, you know. <laughs> Two pours in. Uh, and, you know, this is Two second pour days. and. Uh, <laughs> so. We're really excited about this whiskey, right? For sure. We've been looking forward to it. Uh, maybe talk a little bit about uh, Old Pepper Distillery, right? So Bing. this this is an MGP, so it's coming out of MGP. Exactly, which is in Indiana. We we should probably talk about that on a later day. So, you know, MGP products. Yeah, for I sure. I think there's a lot that we could talk about there. Now, the neat thing about this, they actually tell you how long it's aged on the bottle, what cask it came out of. They tell you where it was bottled, which is at oh. their their distillery in Kentucky, but also shows where it was distilled, which is in Indiana. Yeah. So they're like right up front with this whole thing. Yeah, they're, they're counting on the fact that they make good product. They're not worrying about like yeah. revealing the truth as far as that side yeah. goes. And hey, when you're up front and you're not like, that's what actually, that's what it's about when it's bonded anyway. That's correct. You can't, you can't lie that ish because- But this isn't a bond, this isn't a bonded material. Well, it sure does look like it. Look know, at that so green that, sticker on that thing. That's that whole point of that green sticker. Remember we were talking about bottle yeah. and bond? They put that, well, this is 110 proof. That's just how they get the guys that are looking for that. That's right. That's yeah. exactly right. I only want cast strength. So this is coming out of Indiana, yes. but it's bottled in Kentucky. Um, it is a 55, 110 proof. Mm -hmm. It's just a really nice bottle. Now, I think this distillery had been closed for quite a while and they reopened it. I think 2017 is when the first bottle rolled out. Well, I'm not sure on that date. I'll leave that to you. But I will say that the the threads I was trolling through, <laughs> they were basically saying, jump on it. Jump on it. Yeah, they're jump on it and uh, put your back into it because, you know. It's a good ride, right? It's a good one. And that's what they're saying. You need to get it. And more so because anything that's relatively new, that's kind of what they were saying is you want to make sure that it makes a big splash. Yeah, and this thing, this runs about 40 to $50, so it's not a cheap whiskey no. and it's not a super expensive whiskey. But it's, it's in that craft whiskey uh, style that's true. of pricing that's and, true. you know, organization. -wise. So let's smell this thing. Okay. Oh yeah. Now I do catch the rye smell that we always associate yeah, with the spices pickle. and stuff like and that. And for me, I think I'm starting to realize we've had enough rye lately. I feel like rye to me is that grassy, that hay, that mm. kind of freshly mowed lawn kind of smell. That's mm. what I'm really getting when I smell rye. Yeah, so I'm not getting some... Cletus after he mowed the grass. You're not getting Cletus. Well, well it smells like my third boyfriend Cletus after mowing the lawn. Yes, but you are getting kind of that hay, grassy, yeah. you know, kind of yeah. grainy smell. Yeah, but then it has this full rich flavor that is, is amazing with whiskey in general. That's right. I mean, I feel like I am getting a little bit of butterscotch. Well, I'm getting well, drink. Hang on, let's talk about the nose on this before you go and drink it. <laughs> <laughs> so the notes of this is dill. Oh. Anise. Musk my buttons. <laughs> spice and butterscotch. You know, I, we, we had the anise being on the rise before, but again, I'm not really smelling the licorice heavy on this. I'm not I, either. I'm, I'm not, not getting mm. it. So. Maybe it's something wrong with my nose. Here, here we go. You know, you're not really supposed to do that. <laughs> you got, but you get a lot of alcohol in the vapor of that nose. You do that. But you force a lot more into the farther old factories. Farther old factories. Old fact. The farther, the farther old you factories. Can, you can definitely smell the licorice she smell. Yeah, you can't. But it's really, really faint you, though. You it's gotta not, really draw it's in. It's not on. real strong. If you'd have told me a niece, and I, I mean, if you hadn't told me a niece, I probably would not have noticed no, licorice no. so much. Okay, let's let's go in on this. Let's try it. Are we sure this time? We're gonna try it. Okay. Damn it! I don't calm down. Wait me in a minute. <laughs> I am calm. <laughs> All right, let's drink. It. All right, let's drink. Oh, you. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay. What are you getting? I don't want to freak people out, but yeah, pickles is definitely there. It's that mm -hmm. dill 
punch. I think it's the it herbal, works. the herbal that dill leaves yeah, yeah, you. It's yeah, yeah. not really dill. I think what you're trying to explain is saying is some of the, the the spices that go into producing a dill pickle. I think what he's trying to explain that I'm trying to explain is that it's the spices that go into making a dill pickle. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're right. No, it's so it's that, true, man. Yeah. It's, and, and I think it's so different from your regular bourbon. Yeah, I think you're right. And that's why it's a rye, yeah. obviously. Oh, well, blah, blah, blah. That's why it's a rye. So uh, let's talk about Experts. The, let's talk about the palate on this. It's herbal and spicy. That's what you're picking up. Yeah, for sure. Now, here's something I'm not getting. Deep notes of cocoa. No, I do not get the cocoa. Uh, leather, apricot, and vanilla toffee. Now, the ap apricot. 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 God damn, I, I don't even know. Are we friends? You say so many different things, like apricot and jiff. It's jiff. Your name's Geff, and I don't care what it means. <laughs> Geff. <laughs> My name's Geffrey. <laughs> All right, wait, wait, I'm gonna taste this one more time. All right, let's taste it again. I'm getting the leather. I don't. I'm not getting the leather, but I can see leather. where you might have a little of the dried fruit flavor, maybe. But the finish lingers in the middle of the tongue. It doesn't go back. So now the finish on that is long and spicy with a hint of oak and zest. Yeah, I would say that. I mean, what the I, hell is zest? That's the scratchy off of your citrus. Why would it just say citrus scratchy off of? <laughs> I, I, I know, right? Because it's so hard to say zest. Uh, it, just, it seems like sometimes liquor. Zest with fully clean. Zest fully clean. You're not fully clean unless you're zest fully clean. You're not fully clean unless you're zest fully clean. Okay, let's do this. Jesus. All right, Fuck I am guys. going to say that it is legitimately a flavorful, spicy ride. I think you're right. I mean, at 110 proof, yeah. I don't think we're gonna be shocked by that by any measure. No, and you would have shocked me telling me it was 110 proof, honestly. Hmm. Right? Yeah, it drinks a whole lot smoother. Smoother than 110 yeah, proof. Yeah, for sure. uh, yeah, so let's rate this thing. What do you say? All right, I, I say we do that. Uh, again, one to five finger. So is that three, four? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> five being the best. <laughs> yeah. So five being the best. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make my caveat. I'm rating this with other ryes. So like other ryes we've had. Yeah, we yeah my reviewed, experience with drink. Yep. Because you know I am the foremost expert on rye whiskey in the world. We are not experts. <laughs> Just ask our commenters down yeah. below. No, what I'm gonna say is <laughs> is that honestly, with my experience into rye, I would say this is a solid three finger. Oh. I think this is way better than. Let's put it this way. It's good. It's good, right? I'm not gonna say it's better than it's that's 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 good. That's good. Fair. It's good. It's good. And you know what? I've got just a little bit left in here. Okay. I give it a four. A four. It's a four. This is a really damn good <laughs> ride. I mean, for an MGP product, and let's face it, there's a lot of whiskey out there that's produced MGP? by MGP yeah. for craft distilleries. For this to stand out like it's doing tells me there's a little bit more quality going on in this than your standard MGP rye product. Yeah, it's a four. A three or a four, no matter how you look at it. It's still legit. We're telling our viewers, you need to buy this whiskey. Yeah, I think it's good. I think that you guys need to pick it up if your budget allows for it. Mm. Because I think it's it's a mid-tier in, in the pricing of today's world. It's definitely not, you know what's funny? This is not a bottom shelf whiskey. Yeah, right? yeah. You know where I found it? On the bottom shelf. On the bottom shelf. <laughs> That's what happens when people don't know. I am. Hang a, on. I don't want them to know about right this. Never mind. Yeah, that's right. Don't buy this whiskey. <laughs> yeah, it's total next, garbage. Next time you, next thing you know, you're gonna go to the liquor store and it's oh, allocated. Oh, we don't have allocated whiskeys. We don't carry this, or we've already given out what we can for yeah. the month. Yeah. No, I think they need to jump on it. Uh, support yeah, these sure. people because you're not gonna be disappointed, especially if you're a rye lover. Hey, if you love rye and you don't have this yet, you're really missing out. If you have had it. Let us know what you think. Yeah. I'm interested to see if you've had any experience of opening up with a little dram of water with it or- Oh yeah. So also I'd be interested to know if you're tasting maybe even that hint of cocoa they're saying. Yeah, I would like to see how that's being pulled out. Maybe it's because yeah. we're drinking it neat. I don't know. Is there another way to drink whiskey? Is there? Is there? There can't be because- Is there? I mean, I'm, really? 
too cool to drink it any other way. Are you a hipster? <laughs> Who knows? I might just be. <laughs> In the meantime, you guys continue to be cool this week. Maybe not a hipster, but just cool. And we'll see you again next yeah. week for another second part. And uh, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers.